Now we have question number 14 from October 2017, IAL. Now this question, for some reason, I left out question part D. I didn't, I didn't notice it. I'm just adding it on now. Um, a new mineral has been discovered and is going to be mined over a number of years. So this is the beginning of the question that we answered. Okay, so a model predicts that the mass of the mineral mined each year will decrease by 15% per year. So we mentioned that the multiplying factor is going to be 0 0.85. Okay, that's common ratio. Okay, that's going to be like the common ratio, the multiplying factor, you can say. Okay, and it says, um, <clears throat> given that the mass of the mineral mined during year one is 8,000. So the first term, A, is going to be 8,000 tons. 8,000. Okay, it's decided that a total mass of 40,000 tons of mineral is required. So we need to find the sum, okay, for n, okay. We're going to find the number of years it takes us to get a total sum of 40,000. So the sum of the first n terms is going to be 40,000 tons. So we can, what we can do is we can use our formula. Okay, we have the formula sheet, if you're not sure. But the sum of the formula sheet tells us, if you, if you look at it, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence is given by... Um, a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Or you can use a times r n minus r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. This is better to use when the common ratio is less than, when the magnitude of the common ratio is less than 1. Okay, so we're going to use this particular form. All right, so we have all the information except for n. Okay, we know what Sn is, 40,000. We know A is 8,000. We know R is 0 0.85. We only have to find what N is. So we, that's what we're going to deal with in this particular part of the question. Okay, so now, what we have here is, we have A, which is 8,000, times 1 minus R, which is 0 0.85 to the power of, I'm going to put capital N, because, you know, we're finding what N is, over... 1 minus 0 0.85, okay? And that's going to equal 40,000. Okay, so now we have to solve this equation. Okay, how do we solve this equation? Well, it's an exponential equation, so it looks like we're going to have to use logarithms. So let's start by first multiplying both sides by 0 0.15. Okay, so you end up with basically you have 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n is equal to 40,000 multiplied by 0 0.15 over 8,000. Okay, so we can just calculate that. So 40,000. 40,000 times 0 0.15 divided by 8,000. Okay, that gives us three quarters. Okay, 0 0.75. So 1 minus 0 0.85 to the power of n equals 0 0.75. So what I can do is I can say 1 minus 0 0.75 gives me 0 0.25 equals 0. 8, 5 to the power of n. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to solve this exponential equation. Okay, I'm going to solve this exponential equation so I can do that by taking logs of both sides. So let me take log to the base 10 of both sides. I'll have log to the base 10 of 0 0.25 is equal to and I'll have log to the base 10, so I'll end up with n times log to the base 10 of 0 0.85. Remember, you don't have to write the log, the base, when you're doing log to the base 10. So we can now say that, um, let's move this out of the way. We can now say that log to the base 10 of 0 0.25 divided by log to the base 10 of 0 0.85 is equal to n. Okay, so let's just cal calculate that. Okay, so we're going to have log to the base 10 of 0 0.25 divided by 
log to the base 10 of 0 0.85. 0 0.85 that gives you 8.530 so there you can say n is equal to 8.530 dot 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 so what we can say is um, the total mass of 40 this is going to be mine find the value of n okay from year one to year n inclusive Okay, so it's going to take basically nine years. Okay, 8.5 years, so we can say n will be nine years. After nine years, it's going to be, um, reach, you're going to reach, you're going to have reached 40,000 tons. Okay, so there we have the answer for part D of that question. Thank you for paying attention.